We'd done everything that we thought we had to do to prove, you know, to ourselves that it was going to work. But there's no substitute for seeing that it actually did work and that the thousands of things that could have gone wrong didn't. It's visually fascinating because we know that the planetary nebula has been, or the star that is dying, has been creating this nebula, the material that you now see, just in the past few, few tens of thousands of years, a very, just an instant in astronomical time. But now the central star is illuminating all of this material that it's created and thrown around, uh, all around it, and it literally lights it up like a neon sign. It weighs about 600 pounds. It's about as big as a small piano uh, and about as heavy. <laughs> Uh, its job is very simple. It collects the light from the Hubble telescope. It's going to be a, it's going to be a tough moment when uh, it comes out of the Hubble, because I remember exactly the moment it was emplaced in the Hubble. I can still see the astronauts slowly pushing it in and hoping on hope that they got the prescription for the, <laughs> for the correction correct. Uh, so that, I, I, I'll always remember that moment as it was coming in. I'm sure I'm going to remember the moment when it's coming down, but I really look forward to be able to walk up to it and touch it someday in the Smithsonian and say that's the camera that saved Hubble.